Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're looking at the difference between these three. Pick, pick up, and pick out. Let's take a closer look. First, let's start with the easy one, pick up. Pick up is a phrasal verb, and it's a separable phrasal verb. So I can say, pick up the trash, pick up the bottle, or I can say, pick it up. I have to put it in the middle. I can't say pick up it, it's pick it up. And we hear that T and it sound like a fast D. Pick it up, pick it up. She needs to pick up the trash. She needs to pick it up. Let's practice. Does she need to pick up the trash? That's right, she needs to pick up the trash. Does she need to pick it up? That's right, she needs to pick it up. What about clothes? Clothes is a plural. She needs to pick up the clothes. Or if I separate it with a pronoun, pick them up. Pick them up. She needs to pick up the clothes. She needs to pick them up. Let's practice. Does she need to pick up the clothes? That's right, she needs to pick up the clothes. Does she need to pick them up? That's right, she needs to pick them up. And sometimes you'll hear Americans say, pick them, pick them up. And they don't pronounce the TH sound. She needs to pick them up. We can also use the phrasal verb pick up when you give somebody a ride. My friend needs a ride. He doesn't have a car. So I need to pick him up. Pronunciation, pick him up or pick him up. Again, with him, we hear the sound mm, mm. Pick him, pick him up. My friend needs a ride. Do I need to pick him up? That's right, I need to pick him up. What if it's a girl? If it's a girl, I say, pick her, pick her up. You don't hear the H because the word her is not stressed. So you hear, pick her, pick her, pick her up. She needs a ride. And she called me. She asked me if I could pick her up. So I need to pick her up. Let's practice. Do I need to pick her up? That's right, I need to pick her up. She doesn't have a car. What about this situation? Flowers. They're on the ground, so can I say, pick up the flowers? No, I cannot. When you talk about things that are growing, flowers, fruit, vegetables, we do not say pick up. We only say pick. So he is picking flowers. I cannot say he's picking up flowers. I have to say only pick. He likes to pick flowers, and right now he's picking flowers. Let's practice. Does he like to pick flowers? That's right, he likes to pick flowers. Is he picking flowers right now? That's right, he's picking flowers right now. Or berries. You're talking about something that's growing, like fruits or vegetables. The kids are picking berries, and they love to pick berries. Let's practice. Are the kids picking berries? That's right, the kids are picking berries. Do they love to pick berries? That's right, they love to pick berries. So it can be something low on the ground, or something in a bush, or something high, like apples. You don't pick up apples, you pick apples. And they're picking apples. They like to pick apples. Pick in the past, picked. They picked apples last weekend. Let's practice. Did they pick apples last weekend? That's right, they picked apples last weekend. So what about pick out? You can use the phrasal verb pick out to talk about choosing something. To choose something from a group, use the phrasal verb pick out. Example, he needs to pick out his clothes. He needs to choose what clothes he's going to wear. So I use the phrasal verb, he needs to pick out his clothes. He doesn't like to pick out his clothes in the morning, so he picks out his clothes the night before. So in the morning, he's ready to go. He already has his clothes picked out. Let's practice. Does he like to pick out his clothes in the morning? That's right, he doesn't like to pick out his clothes in the morning. Does he pick out his clothes the night before?
That's right, he picks out his clothes the night before. What about you? Do you like to pick out your clothes in the morning? Very good. Or maybe, do you like to pick out your clothes the night before? Very good. Write in the comments why. Tell me why you like to pick out your clothes in the morning or why you like to pick out your clothes the night before. Write it in the comments. So remember the difference between pick, pick up, and pick out. They're all used in different ways. Today we're going to talk about four very confusing words. Choice, choose, chose, and chosen. Let's take a closer look at each word. First, let's look at choice. Choice is a noun. It's a thing. So we need a verb. The verb or the action is make. You make a choice. When you make a choice, you make a decision or you decide. He needs to make a choice, or he needs to decide. Remember, choice is countable. I can have one choice or two choices, three choices. So when you say make, make a choice. It's one. He needs to make a choice. You can say have a choice. Have is the verb. Have is the action. And choice is countable. It's one. You have a choice one choice. When you have a choice, you have an option. You can choose this one or you can choose that one. You have a choice. If you don't have a choice, you only get one thing. If you have a choice, you have an option. If you don't have a choice or you have no choice, you have to do this. You have no choice. This is for you. This is your only option. Now let's look at choose. Choose is the verb. Choose is the action. In present. So if I say I need, I need to choose. It's the same as I need to make a choice. So he needs to choose. Example, he needs to choose. Pronunciation, use the zebra, z sound with vibration, z, choose. He needs to choose between an apple or an orange. So the connector is between. Use preposition between. He needs to choose. He needs to choose between an apple or an orange. Chose. Chose is the action choose in the past. We change choose to the past chose. So if it's positive, we use the past action chose. What did he do? Did he choose? Yes, he chose. What did he choose? He chose the orange. He chose the orange. He made a choice and he chose the orange. Pronunciation, use the zebra. Z chose. Z. He had a choice and he chose the orange. He had a choice between an apple and an orange and he chose the orange. Chosen. Chosen is the participle or the third form of choose. The verb choose in present, chose in past, and chosen is the participle we use with have or has. So I make the question, have you chosen yet? Has he chosen yet? No, he hasn't chosen yet. He's still thinking. Or he's still choosing. He hasn't chosen yet. He hasn't made a choice. He hasn't made a choice yet. He needs to make a choice. Let's practice. I have a choice and you have a choice. He has a choice. So question, does he have a choice? That's right, he has a choice. Let's practice. 
does he need to make a choice? Very good. He needs to make a choice. Let's practice. Does he need to choose between an apple or an orange? That's right. He needs to choose between an apple or an orange. Let's practice. Did he choose the apple or the orange? What did he choose? That's right. He chose the orange. Let's practice. Has he chosen yet? That's right. He hasn't chosen yet. He's still thinking. Thank you for watching. And if you need more resources to practice English, click the link below and check out the book that we use in our classes to practice reading, listening, and speaking. Thanks for watching.